Hello, and welcome to Narrowboat Life Unlocked. We're Paul and Anthony, and together with our dog Dexter, we explore the beautiful UK rivers and canals on our 57-foot narrowboat. Why not get the kettle on and jump on board? Is busy in the galley. How lucky am I? Homemade garlic bread and to go with it, homemade lasagna. Mm, look at that, beautiful. In this week's video, we start our journey just here before Clangothlan Basin, heading towards the Pongtisilti Aqueduct. We're going to travel over the aqueduct, through Whitehouse Tunnel, through Chirk Tunnel, over Chirk Aqueduct, and hopefully finish the day here at the top of the Montgomery Canal. Oh my goodness, look what James bought us. I can't believe it. We've been looking at these oggies to give you a scale. Do you have an idea of the scale of the thing? Look at the size of that. It's like a ginormous Cornish pasty. Mmm, can't wait to taste this. Oh, that's amazing. Got the size of that though. Never eat all that, will I? You could, to be fair, that's just a mouthful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Thanks, James. That's amazing. I can eat the rest of that tomorrow. <laughs> Not only did James drop off an oggy, which I've never tried before, but it's absolutely beautiful. Some Jamaican ginger and a bottle of jam shed. How oh, lucky are we? That's so kind. Thank you very much, James. Can't wait to taste the rest of these. Mm. morning we just got up Anthony's sorting out the fire I've took the covers down ready to set off I just need to take the chimney down coffee's on and it's Dexter's birthday today and we don't normally bother getting him a card because you know he's a dog but he's he's our dog and he's 15 today we think that's an extra special birthday his tail's wagging we've got him some presents let's get those open <coughs> Dexter. Dexter dog, 15. 15. Who's 15? A 15. <laughs> it's not interested in his oh, card, lad. is it? <laughs> Where is he, lad? Yes. Oh. Quiet while cruising. Might need a open there as well. Oh, good boy. <laughs> you got enjoy that one. <laughs> Now the clocks have gone back, the daylight hours are much shorter, so what we've decided to do is to get up a bit earlier, get the covers down, get off straight away, before having breakfast and settling down to watch a vlog, because before we know it, an hour's gone. We've both got ready really quickly this morning, I've just been for a shave and a shower, and I'm doing breakfast while Anthony's up at the tiller, then we can swap round and we can eat our breakfast together. Fabulous. Time saving tips.
want this because of banana. <laughs> Whoa, well, look at this adventurous sheep. <laughs> she got down there. We're getting over this bridge. Hope he can find his way back. I'm sure it'll find its way back. It seems to be a bit though. Oh, there you go. He knows where he's going. Go on, that way. That way. That's it. That way. There he goes. Oh, sheep. We're a bit worried he was going to jump in the water. There he goes. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, then. Keep going. Fella. <laughs> Still not figured it out, was it? That way. Ah, oh, there he goes. Look at that. Like a mountain goat. I think he's been watching the BBC Wildlife series. Now we know how he did it. He's jumped up onto the wall, over the fence, and along the wall. Crazy. I hope breakfast isn't burning. Just going in a quick reverse there just to get the leaves off the propeller. This canal is so narrow in parts you've really got to slow down the boat to avoid scraping down the sides. to eat this really quick so I think you can get this. It's nice isn't it? Oh, it's lovely around here. It's like cruising your narrowboat through the middle of the Lake District isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. Right well my breakfast is done. It's quick wasn't it? Definitely the way forward with these shorter daylight hours. Can I get over that sheep? Yeah, that was a mystery. I was drying the pots when Anthony shouted there's a sheep on the tub. <laughs> Went to rescue the sheep. No idea where the tea towel is. Anthony searched for it. Like some mysteries, it'll turn up in about a month. Check it, it's not over my job. I can see the aqueduct from here. Probably a good 20 minutes at least, half an hour. There's a really tight turn just after this bridge and this is heading towards the Ponticility Aqueduct. You can see where you've got to take a sharp right out of the basin.
This was only our second journey over the Ponte Silti Aqueduct. The views are just amazing and it was just as stunning the second time around. Anything coming through? No? Okay. Fabulous, thank you. This first tunnel is White House Tunnel and it's just 191 yards long. You can't see the angle at the entrance. I know, you can see your lights inside. Yeah. You're going to hit here though if you don't move over. down does he on the stair very rarely it's quite nice and she sat with him is settled Let's see. look at this scenery behind us it's stunning isn't it, it? Is. we're just about to go into church aqueduct no we're not we're about to go into church tunnel <laughs> we'll like go it. over church aqueduct we're just about to go into church tunnel and then we've got the aqueduct ahead of that Hey, can't wait to film it. It should be easy going through this way. It's, this is the shorter tunnel, isn't it? I've just realised because I can actually see the sign of it now. Right, there's no one coming. Go beep, for it, Anthony. Beat me on. Well, as we said, this is Chirk Tunnel and it's 459 yards long and it's so much easier going with the flow of the water rather than against it because this canal is fed by the River Dee and it has a flow. I'm going to jump off here. Not into the canal. No. Probably not to lose. Yeah, it is. Well, this is Chirk Aqueduct, and in the background you can see Chirk Viaduct. This really impressive structure was completed in 1801, and the amazing thing about this is it carries you from Wales over the border into England.
always like a traffic jam here. There are some boats moored very close to the bridge, making it very awkward for everybody else. Right. Sorry, we just let one boat come through, and then I was like, we're going to be here all day. Is <laughs> that so boat close to the bridge? Aren't we? Yeah. Thank you. Now look at that. Very close to the bridge. <laughs> All right. All right. Hi guys, you're right. We moored up here to get some water. A full tank of water normally lasts us anything from 10 to 14 days. The side now, All right. Our Dexter's aching to get off, but there's a road here, and uh, we're just going to fill with the water. Well, that's good, the hose is on this side as well. I knew it, that's why I left it there. We only had the two locks to do today, but it had been such a long and tiring day that we'd almost forgotten what to do. Having time off work, we hadn't had to use the car for about 10 days, which was really nice, but we did need the car after this day. So what happened, my brother had picked us up, took us all the way to Renbury to collect the car, and then drop it all the way off at the top of the Montgomery flight, where the car was waiting for us. It was quite a relief to see the car in the car park, knowing that we hadn't got to cycle back for it. I don't know. Alright. All right. Uh, oh, well, this is it. This is the Montgomery Canal. I'm hoping we can moor here on the corner. Not a lot landing. You have to book to go down the Montgomery Canal because the top flight is manned. You've got to book before 10am in the morning of the day of travel in the summer and you've got to book 48 hours in advance over the winter period. Oh, we made it Anthony. That was a mammoth day. It was. What time is it? Oh, gone three. Gone three and we set off at half past eight this morning. Yeah we set off half eight this morning. Like Anthony said it took a lot longer than canal plan said, uh, open canal plan. But we made it still daylight. We've got a couple of hours of daylight. We're hoping to take Dexter somewhere for a nice walk. He shattered. It's um, his birthday blessing. I know. Happy birthday, Dexter Dog. He's such good crew, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, belting. <laughs> I keep waiting for you to do Del Boy, you know, when he leans on the bar and then the thing oh, and he drops yeah. forward. Yeah. We're very lucky because my brother dropped us off here the other night with Anthony's car, then took us all the way back to the boat at Clanglolan Basin. Um, so that saved us hours it did it? it took him two and a half hours bless him yeah. really appreciate that thank you yeah thanks to my brother and uh yeah what is it now we, so we're booked to go down we're on the montgomery canal and we're booked to go down on wednesday today's monday but you're allowed two days more and so it's worked out really well yeah hasn't it? perfect you're gonna have to do that on your own because i'm at work on wednesday yeah Ooh. i know uh, and then we're coming back on saturday 
So yeah, we're coming back up on Saturday, aren't we? We're hoping to have a nice meal, aren't we, on Friday? Are we? Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I said we'll go to the pub for a meal because it's been recommended. Yeah. Um, so you could move the boat, couldn't you? Um, yeah. Further down and stuff during the day. Yeah, by um, work. Yeah, and I'm literally just there, so. Yeah, this car's like a 60 second walk, yeah, if that. Perfect. <laughs> Take to settle at last. But, uh, oh yeah, when we moored, when I parked here the other day, it keeps saying moored instead of parked. When, when I parked here the other night, the stars were absolutely stunning. You could see the Milky Way, so we're hoping for more of the same in the few days that we're here. Yeah, I was going to say, it's looking cloudy at the moment, isn't it? So I don't think we'll see much tonight. Ooh, glass half empty, Anthony. I'm just realistic. <laughs> but, yeah, we've had a good day of cruising, haven't we? It's been a full day, 15 yeah. miles, two tunnels, two aqueducts, and two locks. And no arguing. And no arguing. Hardly. Yay! <laughs> but thanks a lot for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. It's completely free. It really does help our channel. And hit the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And yeah. um, please keep your comments coming. We really do love to receive them and I love to reply to them. Um, so thanks so much for them. Yeah, thanks everybody for your support. Take care. Bye. Bye. How's our crew? Dexter dog. Dexter. Hello. How's our crew? Talking of crew, we'd like to give a big shout out to our Morning Star crew who are Alison H, Jennifer Sherwood, Neil Murphitt, Jenny Pugh, Craig JK, Donna Kelly, Jane Idell Cox, Diane Loy, Rick Meyer, Mike Miller, Sylvia Line, Kathy Lowe, Harry Penn, Jim Smith, Wayward, Glenis Mitchell, Tired and Snarky, and Will Getz. Thank you so much. And a big thank you to our new patrons, Mandy Pearson, Anne Brady, and Jane Stanton.